Yo, what's going on? It's Momo, head movement, TV, hala mala, tala fala. Why does that make you laugh, Danny? You know what? You say it with such smoothness, Rasta. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, yes, just had a couple of bucks arena after a ride to Rock in. Um, quite, a, quite a sick bill of fights, actually, today. Yeah, it was uh, not, not, bad, not, not a bad night. It warmed up towards there. Rider had to come. I thought he was behind. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought uh, Tarokin was awkward enough to make life awkward for him. When he ran out of gas, Rider was tough enough to put him under pressure, keep him on, on the pressure, and he did, he did the right thing. Uh, Ted Cheeseman. You know, Cheeseman, you've got to give it to him, adapted his style for an, such an unorthodox fighter. And he managed to be unorthodox himself and, and got the win. Uh, it wasn't the stop as you wanted, but he got the win. And uh, of course, John Gill. You know, that's why I love our sport of boxing, because it showed pure class and skill, how we dealt with him. Uh, pure boxing and military. I love that. that that's why I love our sport. You know, you can go in there to, to, to go for the knockouts. You know, you watch the Mike Sai Tyson style of fight, so you can go in there to watch the skillsters. Mm -hmm. John Gill showed pure skill and class and uh, loved it. Absolutely loved it. And uh, my pick of the night before the fight, and I'm, it, it turned out to be the way, was Luke Watkins versus... Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, man. Isaac yeah, Chamberlain showed how skillful he is. How good he can be and Isaac Chamberlain again he, both fighters came off the loss against Lawrence O'Coley uh, it just showed a level of both fights and I think Isaac Chamberlain it seems to have matured physically as well as emotionally to become a better fighter let him let, let Lawrence, uh, Ch uh, Lawrence O'Coley go and do his thing these boys now nah, now nah, nah, these boys work at domestic level get yourselves back establish yourself again and then move on and rebuild um, today it was announced that Kel Brook will be back on December the 8th, December 8th yeah uh, do you have any idea of what weight or an opponent or um, I hope it's a, a, a Super Walter, um, uh, but we, we don't know, we don't know, and I know he's training really hard out there, the future of Ventura, so uh, I, uh, good, it's nice to hear, I know Kel's been chomping at the bit, and he's got a new fire in his belly, yeah. uh, especially now, this talk about the possible Amir Khan interaction. Uh, Seen as believing on that one, but I'm glad Cal's back in the ring for December 8th. Yeah, do you think that fighting that 154 could hinder his preparation for a Khan fight? If obviously, wouldn't it be better that he gets used to the 147? I actually don't think it's gonna happen. I really don't. I don't Fair have enough. faith in it. I don't have faith in it. being that many obstacles and that many, that many requests from me. I don't think it's gonna happen, man. So I don't really want to, want to get that giddy about it. Yeah. Uh, it'd be great if he did. Um, uh, and it'd be, it'd, be, it'd be a good fight, but to me, I just think it's gonna happen. We happen a long time ago. And today, Kubrat Pulev in a 12 round decision against Fury Fury. Yeah, uh, Fury Fury is a cruiserweight, he ain't a heavyweight. Mm -hmm. He'd be a big, successful cruiserweight, he's not a heavyweight. And then hopefully this made him decide, you know what, I'm going to go box a, a cruise away uh, and create a sting. Um, and, uh, and, and so so it's not the end of the world for him, mm -hmm. I just think he's a cruise away. And that puts Pulev in, in line to fight Andy Joshua. Yeah. Uh, I think he kind of got a, a harsh deal because obviously he got injured before the second fight and then he got pushed completely out of the picture with yeah. the five names above him. Uh, do you think he'll get the AJ fight next? He'll get a chance eventually. Someone's going to fight AJ. AJ's going to not. AJ is what everybody has to be put in front of him when it's mandatory or voluntary. So there's no reason why it could now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Um, Tyson Fury versus Wilder. Send a quick prediction. I'll let you go. I know you've got I'm gonna Tyson, I'm gonna go, uh, again, I, I'd like to go Tyson Fury. My problem is it's having faith, faith in a guy that's working working with him. I think Tyson Fury has the ability, has the, has the skill, has the mindset, but do I believe that he can pull the win off? Yes, I do. Do I believe he can pull the win off with the guy that he's working with? That's where the problem is. Uh, I don't know him well enough, so I can't disrespect him. Uh, but I know Tyson Fury has the skill to do it. And you know what? Uh, Peter Fury would have brought to the table. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course, of course. Peter Fury and all the boys with him, I'd say Tyson Fury every day the week. That's no problem. I'll let you go now. Thank you very much. No problem. Danny Nelson, Movement TV, Halamala, Chalamala. Thank you very much. Bye. <laughs>